Hi everyone, my name's Ella and this is my first YouTube video. I hope you enjoy it. So I think I'll introduce you to the horses and then we'll do a QA. and a Yeah, let's go do that. This is Ira, she's Frisian and 164 centimeters. This is a Tessian and she's Frisian, 1 meter 54. Okay, so now that I've introduced the horses, uh, let's continue to the Q&A. So I'll go have a look at the questions. Alrighty, let's find some questions. Have I ever fallen off a horse in public? The answer is yes. I have fallen off multiple times in public. I've fallen off, the worst one was probably at a pony game <laughs> where the pony spooked at a cone falling over. So it fell off. I was about, I think, I think I was 10 and I fell off and everyone was laughing at me. And back then I was really self-conscious if I fell. I fell off in the only wet spot in the whole arena. So I was covered in wet sand for the rest of the day. So by the end of the day, I was virtually on the edge of tears. Another question was, have I ever broken a bone? Yes, I was six years old and a pony spooked at a corner and I fell off, broke my arm and I have on my arm here and here, two scars. My arm was operated because they had to put this long titanium pins into my arm because it was so badly broken. And the only reason the pony spooked was because a bird flew out of a tree. I was then dragged along the floor and it just stopped in a corner to eat grass. So yeah. This next question, a friend asked me, which I think was sort of stupid because she knows me like the back of her hand. She asked me, have I ever sold a horse? And my response to that is no, I've never sold a horse and I never plan on selling a horse because I don't like selling horses. I know sometimes you might have to, you can't afford to keep it anymore. But if it's something like you don't want it anymore, you just don't want the horse in general. Yes, that would be okay. Because then the horse would then probably be neglected because they don't want the horse anymore. But if it's like example, you've got a dressage horse, but now, it's not good enough for you anymore. So you decide, let's go out and buy a 20 million thousand billion gazillion euro horse, pound horse, dollar horse. So what do you do with the one you had? You chuck it off to some place. So you do this, buy horsey. So the poor horse has to be transported and probably will keep going and going and going and going. So I think if you buy a horse, you keep it till the end of its life. Oh wow, this is a nice one. Who or is my horse horse? Sorry to break it to you, but I don't even have a horse. I have the two horses outside at Tessian and Nero. They're actually my dad's, so I ride them sometimes, but normally I go to stable for lessons. Uh, I had a half pension. Uh, it's also known in England as a loan. And there was an incident, I ended up leaving. Now I may be getting my own horse, so on Sunday, I will be going up to France, down to France, that's far, crossing all these roads. So we're going up to France to try a horse. Her name is Clack. She's a Meringue pony. She's 1 meter 52, so she's not that small. So she's either a small horse or a big pony. And she has jumped 1 meter 20 without a rider. And that's perfect. And she's nine years old or turning nine. And I'm so excited. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we'll get her. Here's a picture of her. That is when she was two years old. So if we end up agreeing to buy her, I will go up there and collect her during my Easter holiday. She'll have then a week approximately to calm down. And then maybe I can already start schooling her. So those are all the questions. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you want to subscribe, turn on the notifications, give it a thumbs up and stuff. I'll give you guys the news if I get a horse. So uh, yeah, see you guys.